Mike Greaves here at Indiana University's MFA painting program. I'm going to show you how to make a large stretcher out of plywood sheets. Hey, I'm Taylor Woolmine. We've got a full four foot by eight foot sheet of half inch plywood that we're going to rip into two and three quarters inch strips. So out of a full sheet of 8x4 plywood, you get about, you know, you get 15 2 and 3 quarter inch strips. Alright, what we did was we split our wood in half, and half the pile we're going to put a bevel in. And you do that um, with this lever over here, we're going to put a 30 degree bevel in the wood. piece and the regular stock and then we attach them at a 90 degree angle like that with uh, use Gorilla Glue and a nail gun just to hold together while the glue dries. What we got here is Mike's jig, handmade. Uh, so this is basically a guide that we put our two pieces of wood in so that we know that they're nice and straight when we glue and nail them together. Um, and this guide is nailed to the table, table so we know it's not going anywhere. Um, so what you do is take your straight piece, you bump it up against both edges of the guide, the left and the front piece. Then we're going to take small screws and screw this down so even if this piece of wood is slightly warped, it's going to be perfectly straight because we've got that guide to go against. Then you take your bevel piece, line it up against it, and you would glue and nail. thing about this jig is I've left like about a quarter of an inch on the outside so I can rest the nail gun tip against it and just so I can make a stretcher out of them. So you just do the pointy side up when you put in your chap sack. Chap sack. So I'm making an eight by five, so these are already eight feet, so I just take it to the corner and hack it off. I cut two that are eight feet, and then on my, the sides are gonna be five feet, so I make the cup first and then measure off of that. Okay, so now that I got all my pieces cut, I line them out to make sure they all fit, do a dry fit, and then we're gonna glue each corner and then throw a strap around the side of the whole thing. So now we're gonna clamp it together and show you this process. It's kind of a two-person job. got this all strapped up here nice and tight I like to put in a, a, a gusset so I use this uh, what's that stuff called gorilla glue and I throw it in the corner here and I'll just nail that in with these little 9 16 brads pretty short and then I'll put a one inch brad in the 
corners just to keep it snug and safe. So you want to um, make this T-beam a little bit shorter than uh, your edge here and then mine's going to be really tight because I'm going to stretch it and then rabbits can glue it so that doesn't really matter for me but if yours is going to be a little looser if you don't rabbits and glue it you might not want this that high. Then the other thing is you can see how this is resting on the inside lip here. So then when I put my cross braces in, I made like a little piece here to make it the same height. And then I put them like this and I stagger them. So you can nail it from here and then nail it from there so you don't have to um, make something crazy. So this is what the final setup looks like with all the cross braces glued and nailed. We'll be ready for stretching tomorrow. I'm going to make another video about that. I'd like to thank my buddy Aaron Cohn for showing me how to do this technique. He uses nicer stuff. This is cheaper. And my buddy Taylor Woolwine for being my assistant. Little Tay Tay. Alright, later.